Hey YouTube friends, welcome to RK Trader Center. My name is Roy. Well, I just made an amazing purchase. I came back from the convenience store, saw a little garage sale, popped in real quick, didn't even have my camera with me. Uh, it's kind of already in the middle of the afternoon of the day, so they were slowing down. Saw one box of an item there that I was so happy to see and find. I asked them how much they wanted for it. They said, give me $5 for the box. I, I, I was there. I was right there. $5 for the box. I was right there. Let me show you what I found. All right, so I had to add this to this video. I just made a quick stop at a garage sale. I stopped right by it. Didn't pick up very much of anything. But what I did pick up was I scored on this huge lot of cassette tapes and VHS tapes. The thing is, I only paid $5 for all of it. And there is well over 150 brand new cassette tapes and VHS tapes. I mean, look at the stack. These are, in, these are in blocks of seven. And I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine complete blocks, some blanks. There's probably some more blanks mixed in here. There's a whole bunch of different kinds. Memorex. Is it live or is it Memorex? Who remembers that? Even after 100 recordings, you'll wonder, is it live or is it Memorex? Yeah, uh, there's some more Memorex, the TDK, a whole bunch of the TDK. Well, there's some more Memorex right there. Look at that. And then the cassette tapes, there's a block of these VHS T10s probably. Okay, it says Target. There's Polaroid, RCA. Uh, what do I got? I think that's pretty much about it on that kind. There's some Zenith. Man, I was really, really happy to score on all this. And then $5 for all of that. Yeah, I'm going to make some money off of that. So it just keep your eyes out. Now, the thing is, um, like all these, I'm going to sell most of all this stuff. But I will keep a few blank tapes. And I will keep some ca blank cassette tapes. Because whenever I find tape recorders or VCRs, what I'll do is make sure they're working. And if they're working good, I'll usually throw in one or two of those for free to go with it because people really like to have that extra stuff and they don't have to go buy it or search for it or buy it from somewhere else. So that's a little key hint for y'all that if you didn't know that, uh, if you want to make a sale a little bit more, put a picture of a tape recorder and a couple of blank cassettes. Put a picture of a VCR that you're selling and a couple of blank cassettes. Always helps with the sale. Anyway, I just wanted to show you that and... Yeah, that was a good score. All right, so I'm right in the middle of listing all these little cassette tapes. I, this is the last solid pack I've got. And then I got individuals that I'm working on. Like I said, I'm going to keep some. I'm putting the packs of them over here. But these packs right here. So I just got a notification on my phone. I just listed these items. And I don't know if you can see my little notification thing right there for eBay and at the top. So I clicked on the computer. Check this out. I sold four packs for $72, a total of $78.52 with the tax. There's 10 packs of four TDKs. That's these right here. The TDKs. Sold all four packs. There's four 10 packs. Sold all those. I got two 12 packs. But man, I just listed those. I mean, it couldn't have been 10 minutes ago. I just listed those. Awesome. $5 purchase made my money back and profit and i still got a bunch of tapes to go plus other cassette tapes i'm set uh, i'm i'm stoked that is so happy i'm so happy about that all right i gotta get back to listing well good morning it is the next day and today is the day i'm gonna wrap those cassette tapes that sold yesterday evening and get them out i pretty much got them all listed did some other things but before i get that started i've got to wrap all these pictures and picture frames up these are pictures that kim draws and if you watch my videos for a while you know that kim's been drawing pictures and she's been getting quite a few orders of drawings to do she draws animals this is the kind of picture she draws they're all usually charcoal or pencil drawings lately she's been doing mostly all pencil drawings so they're really really good there's that dog right there um let's see there's another cute little poodle. 
trying to got to keep all these addresses and stuff together so I don't get them messed up. All right, let's see what else she what else does she got? She has. I'm not sure. I think that looks like a a boxer or a pit or maybe a pit. I'm not quite sure which one that one is, but that look at that. The details on that is so good. All right, let's see. Let's see what other one she had drawn. I haven't even seen them yet. I got to mail them out and I haven't seen them. Oh, okay. And then this, these two are going to one person. She's got this dog. And looks like another little, maybe a poodle again. Yeah. Pretty good. Anyway, I got to get all those wrapped up and shipped out because they are glass frames and I have to wrap them care real carefully to ship them out. All right, since it's a nice day, I'm outside. Actually, I use the outside when I wrap a lot of pictures, especially on a nice day. Now, if I have to, I'll do it inside. And I got my wife, Kim, here with me, the artist. <laughs> She's going to be holding the camera. And I've already wrapped all the pictures except for one. So I'm going to show you how I wrap these pictures up. And then that way you'll have an idea. So you, if you want to wrap picture frames with glass, you'll know how to do it. All right, baby. You want to take the camera? Hi, yes. <laughs> the first thing I have is picture frame with Kim's picture you know with a glass and it does have glass all right and this one's going with a card so we're gonna put the card on top now what I'll do is I will generally either take a piece of cardboard or in this case I happen to come across some thin styrofoam that I had and what I'll do is I'll just basically cover the picture up and have an idea and like I said you can do this with cardboard or in this case, I'm just using some styrofoam. It doesn't have to be perfect, but we want to get it close. Make sure you don't cut your fingers when you're doing this. Styrofoam does make a mess though. The next thing I do is I get a bag, which I don't have right now, so I have to go grab my bag real quick and I'll be right back and I'll show you why. Tomorrow is Roy's birthday. So maybe y'all can wish him happy birthday. Maybe he won't see me doing this. So the next thing is I got a bag. Now, sometimes I just use a like ceram wrap or something, but in this case, these will fit in these bags. So I'll put this in the bag. And these are good little poly bags. I can't remember the exact size. I think they're uh, 15 by 18 or something. Well, I can measure real quick. Let's see. These are 13s by 19. So 13 by 18, 13 by 19. And they're large. I use them for uh, plushed animals and different large things like that. But anyway, so this is what I do. Now, as you can see, it still wants to slide around a little bit. And I don't want that styrofoam or if you use a piece of cardboard in there to protect that glass, you, I don't want that to be moving around. So I just take a little bit of tape <laughs> and I basically just tape over this plastic. And I'll go one more time, the same thing. I'll go this way. There we go. And all that did was just keep this from sliding around outside. All right. The next thing you want to do is you want to get some cardboard. And what I did was I had an old box and I just had this old piece and I've kind of done this a couple times already. So I know what size I'm needing. Now you can do it where you can take it and you can lay it down this way or this way whatever you do you just need to make sure that when you flip it over that you have enough to wrap up in this case i have let's see this here oh i got plenty i got plenty so in this what i'm going to do is i'm going to take off these flaps Uh, that's weight and I don't need all that extra weight, but I do want to still keep the car uh, keep it uh, Protected so I'll keep these pieces of cardboard in case I need them All right, so I'll take a picture turn it over and I'm just gonna use the frame I do have a scoring tool. There's different kinds of scoring tool We can score the cardboard to fold it, but in this case this frame is nice and strong So I'm just gonna fold it over this way fold it over that way And now I got a piece of cardboard protecting that frame just gonna give it a little bit of tape, just to tape it up, keep it closed. All 
doesn't need a lot of tape and I'm gonna do one right in the center just to kind of help help hold that while I work on it basically is all it's gonna do. Alright now you may have to adjust the sides it depends on how you want to do it you can leave it like this just tape up the sides just tape it down like that and it's just fine or this one actually has enough room you can trim the sides to make it fit and what I, and what I mean is you just pop the corners with a utility knife or a razor blade or some sort of knife again make sure you don't cut yourself and then you just fold in and just fold it down and kind of give it a little protection okay and I'll do the same thing on this side and again like I said you can just tape over it but I'll go ahead and make a little bit nicer looking like a little box just make a little box and zip 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 looks very professional it looks somewhat professional is that? <laughs> it's good enough to hold it yes just keep it protected that's all this purpose is is just to keep it protected all right I could have bubble wrapped the picture before I put it in the box and that's fine but I know this is nice and secure that way and I do have bubble wrap so what I am going to do is put bubble wrap over this just basically it's going to give it a little extra padding but it's also going to give it a little fill for inside the box I'm going to put in all right and like I said I could have wrapped the frame first but this is just going to give me a little extra extra cushion for void fill and padding all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to take this and put it in a in a box all right well i've already pulled it out it looks like a medium flat rate box that you would get from the post office but these aren't super heavy pictures otherwise i would use a medium flat rate box but in this case this box let me get this side sealed real quick all right so what this box is this is called a 1095 and you can get a 1095 from the USPS online. Just go to USPS online and you order these. They're free supplies online. So I'm going to take this, put it in there, and look. And you can see I have a little bit from the top. So I need to add a little void fill there. And the sides aren't too bad. So I'm not going to have to worry about that so much. So you can either use packing peanut styrofoam paper whatever you want to use um, I do have those pieces of styrofoam polystyrene or something and I've been using that it fits pretty good so I'm gonna put that in there put the picture in there and then this one would go on top and when it looks like it'll just fit the other thing is now you're going to be worried about well what about this okay well in this case you just take a couple pieces of cardboard i already cut these because again i've already wrapped a few, a few of them so i just take the cardboard put it in there like so put this cardboard in there like that and you can see it's got a little gap right here for the, where the cardboard was at. So I'm going to go ahead and take some just brown paper and shove it in there, just to give it a little, a little foam, a little protection. It's not really not a lot of paper, but it arrives. Everyone I've mailed has arrived just fine. So you might sit here a truck in the background. I thought I was waiting for parts for our van for our van conversion we're doing. But it wasn't for us, it's for the next door neighbor. So you might hear that truck run. Anyway, as I said, I, I put in the paper and you can see it's a little bowed out a little bit. But that's not a problem because that's just void fill paper. And what's going to happen now is, I don't know, forget this. Put that on top. There we go. Now what's going to happen when I bring this down, I'll show you that this is just void fill. And so therefore, when I bring it down, it's going to be nice and flat. Remove it a little sticky, pull it nice and tight. And I'm gonna put a little extra piece of tape on this one. Have I 
told you lately what a good husband you are. Thank you. Yes, thank and, you for doing that. Uh, because this isn't a flat rate box, I do have to weigh it. But I know what the measurements are because I've done two other ones already. And so this is going to weigh a little over two pounds. Um, it does not fit in a regional A box that's this size. It's too big. I've already tried. So it's going to go out at a three pound rate and in a 1095 box. So let me go ahead and then print out a label and get the label printed on this. And then I got to clean up my mess. <laughs> I got a mess. I made a mess. Are you happy that I, I wrapped your boxes for <laughs> Thank you? Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You're a good guy. Oh, well, I'm going to go in and put the label on this and I guess we'll see you later. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> All right. So whenever I print a label, I use Pirate Ship. Now, I'll show you a little bit of it. I won't show you the whole thing, but Pirate Ship is a great site to use. And if you've heard about it, good. You should get it if you don't use it because it really does save a lot. They do cubic shipping rate and it saves you money. But when you print your own simple labels and you're not going through eBay or any other selling platform, you can still print a label. You just type in the information and I'll show you here. This is Pirate Ship. Right here, the Pirate Ship is the name of it. And uh, you create a free, free account. And if you already have an account, you just click log in. And when you click log in, you get to this thing right here, which is your screen of, of addresses you ship to. And right up here, we're going to go to create a label. Or if we want to import labels from eBay and not use the eBay app, but print labels from here, we can do it here and you get the same discount as you use it if you do it with eBay. But here we're just creating a sing single label. So I click on that and now we just type in the information. Again, I'm not going to show you this part because I don't want you to see the information of the person I'm sending this to, but I will show you what you do from there on. All right, and as you scroll the page down, you're going to get to the type of shipping you want to do. This is where it's coming out from me. All right, so you, the type of shipping is we're just going to use a regular box. Now you can click on it and you can use all the USPS type mail the stuff that they have. But in this case, we're just using a regular box. If you use a, a flat rate envelope, that'll also save you a little money if you can do that because it's just doing cubic rate shipping on the envelope size. In this case, we're using a box, so it is a UPS or a USPS box, but we're just going to do regular box because it's going to be a regular priority. So we type in 16 by 13 by 4, and the box is going to weigh 3 pounds. You don't have to worry about the ounces because the price is going to be the same from 2.1 pounds to 3 pounds. So the box, it actually weighed 2 pounds. I think 14 ounces, but it's going to be the same price. So I just type in three, zero ounces. And now we're going to get the rates. And I may have to cover information up. Uh, yes. Okay. So the rates on this is going to be $13.89. And as you can see, it regularly really was $17.29, but I got a discount. And that's what you get from using Pirate Ship. Right down here it has the date that I'm mailing it. It has what I'm the card that I'm using or the account that I'm using to pay for it. And yes, you can use your PayPal to connect any credit card checking or PayPal account to Pirate Ship and use that as payment. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to buy a label. So we're going to buy a label. And I know there's going to be information on there when, I, when it comes up. So we're going to cover that up. It shows you a map. Like in my case, it's going down here from South Texas up to Pennsylvania. So what I'm going to do is right here, it says print label. As you can see, it says print label. So I'm going to click on print label. All right. Once I printed the label, the postage came up for me to print off. Now, I use my Rolo printer. You can print it off on a regular printer and just piece of paper and tape it to the box. Uh, if you have those little papers with the little stickies on them, they're one side or two sided. You can use those on your printer. Or you can use a Dymo printer or a Zebra printer. I have a Roto printer and that's what I use. I use this Roto printer right here. So for me, I hit download. I come down here. There's no actual print button from here. You download the label. Um, and once the label pops up, it, which is right there, all I got to do is print it off. And then I print it off from my Roto printer. Okay, so in this case, this is what pops up. Just like if you're going to print on a printer or something. But I'm going to change it from my printer to a thermal printer. I'm going to change the size. 
Now the size you can use is, is 100 millimeter to 150 millimeter or four by six. And it's easy, just remember four by six. So I'll click on four by six. And then I click print. And up here, I got my one label. Of course, I do have it backwards because I don't want you to see the address. But I do have one my one label. And now I'm going to stick it on that box right there. The next type of glass type item that I sold are these right here. These are L'Oreal's. They are Cambridge Bridgestone little bowls. They're vintage bowls. Two greens, two yellows, and a salmon pink color. Picked these up for, I think I paid... 99 cents a piece for them at the thrift shop so about five dollars they sold for 27 dollars and 99 cents plus the buyer paid the shipping so these little bowls are going to go into a regional rate a box because they're heavy and i want to keep it at a two pound rate so i'm not going to just put them in there what i did is i cut some pieces of cardboard and put it along the sides that was part of the cardboard i had from when i did the pictures and i put it along the sides so that way it gives a little bit of strength on the outside they're just loosely put in there all right, so next I'll take a piece of bubble wrap and put it down there on the bottom. And I'm actually going to take one more large piece and just kind of put it down like this. Give it a little extra padding. Take the first bowl, we'll stick it in there, put a piece of bubble wrap on it. And as I put it in there, I'm pushing down the sides to create void fill. I'm going to put a second one down and another piece of bubble wrap. And the fifth piece... I put a piece of bubble wrap and actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little old thank you business card like that my business card I'm going to put it in that one right there and then put this on top and just take a piece of cardboard and just lay it on there just again to get a little support now I just print off my label and I'm all set and ready to mail this out not going anywhere. All right, so this is all the glassware and those cassette tapes that got wrapped up. And this is what I wanted to show you how easy it was to do that you can just use free USP, USPS shipping supplies. This is a big box. This is actually going to UPS because that's got those two big giant picture frames in it and it's really heavy. And the picture frames were outrageous. The glass was outrageous. The box was good. So, and whenever you get something super heavy or super large, and it, like this is a large box that's over demand over cubic foot dimensions then it's cheaper to go ups or fedex this one package has got the glassware in it the bowls is a regional rate a box that saves me money by shipping in a regional a box if i had shipped it out in a regular box this cost me 13 dollars versus about 19 dollars this is the cassette tapes it's going out in a medium flat rate box believe it or not 40 cassette tapes are heavy and they come with the cassette tape boxes so between all that i think it weighed almost six pounds it was cheaper to go into a medium flat rate box and mail it out that way so it's nice to have a bunch of different options when you're shipping out packages from the usps it's nice to have all those different ones there if you want to know more about shipping supplies or anything like that let me know put it down in the comments down below i just got through ordering a whole bunch of new shipping supply stuff so i might go ahead and make a video but let me know if you'd like to see that in the comments i gotta get to wrapping the other stuff but let me get this off my table so all the resellers out there find it sell it profit everyone else take care be safe and have a great day bye bye